Howdy folks, I'm Steve, K5ATA, and we are hanging out today with Ray Novak, N9JA with ICOM. And today we're taking a look at some holiday hints for some ICOM radios. So let's get it on, on K5ATA, ham radio. Okay, what we're going to do here is manually program a frequency into the memory channel. It's not that difficult. When you go here to select, you can go frequency input, real simple, 146.55, enter. We already had that in there. Memory write, we want to write it to a new channel. Since it's got alphanumeric, I can program in Simplex B for our simplex backup. If I want it to be in the scan list, I can either skip it or leave it off so it does not skip it. If I want to put it into a bank, beautiful. Bank A is blank. I can come here to select what memory channel. I want to go into so like number 17 here and then I go right and that was programmed in now Steve I don't know do you use your DR mode ever I do so it looks like a uh, analog station from the looks of it because FM duplex tone all of that's in there. Have you ever added a new repeater into a repeater list? No, I have not. To put in a new repeater list, we'll go here to menu, DV memory, repeater list. So you've got home, just a very simple one. You've got a few things listed in here. And I believe Mississippi is in the southeast. Oh, there we go. So let's piggyback the one off of Tupelo here. I want to edit. So we're going to change this. We're going to change it to an to an FM repeater. We're going to change the name here to Oxford. We're going to still use the Mississippi. The call sign here will clear. And what is it? Uh, W5LAF. We'll leave it in the group for Southeast. Use it from frequency is 147.33. Duplex. FM tone 107.2. Position. We'll have to cheat and use our smartphone to give us our GPS coordinates, or do you know them off the top of your head? I don't know them off the top of my head. So, okay, okay. we're cheating here. And we're just gonna give it an approximate. It is very close. And 89. Oh. UTC offset. 
or minus six hours because we're not in daylight savings time. And we're going to add right. Oh, you've already got it in the list. Okay, we got thrown off a little bit there. This was, was your download. We weren't really adding one to it uh, because it already existed in your download and it did not appear higher up because that was your D star, your digital repeaters. Down in the lower section are all your FM. So we'll come here and I'm going to show you a little good little hack to do. So we come here, quick, edit. Oxford, we don't know by this information whether it's your VHF or your UHF. So we come down to the frequency, we see it's UHF. We'll go here to the end, and you don't have any spaces or any special characters, it's just alphabet and numbers. So we'll put a space and then a U for UHF. And one thing that I like to do is just tidy up a little bit here with the offset. Again, minus six. And at the very end, you can either add to the list or overwrite it. We'll just go ahead and overwrite that one. And then you see it's W5LAF UHF. We'll come here again quick edit this one we know by default this is the VHF enter that one little housekeeping item there and we'll go ahead and overwrite that one as well and what this does We'll come completely out of that. We'll go to DR mode. We'll go here, find near repeater, have it do them all. And now you can tell whether it's VHF or UHF, all your rest of them with the call sign on FM, you don't know where it's VHF or UHF. And where that comes in handy is when you look at your digital ones, you got port B or port C for KE5LUX. Port B is going to be UHF, port C is going to be VHF. So that way you have an, a designation on which one you're on. We'll go ahead and come out of this. One of the other things that you, that you pointed out that is fun to do, especially when you're traveling, is you have it scan. There again, you can have it do all the repeaters using the GPS location. And there you go, you're scanning all your local repeaters. And honestly, that's fast enough where you can be on a simplex channel here and listening to all your local repeaters at the same time. And that scan moves as you move. You don't have to reset it, so to speak. It, it's As you change geographical areas, if you're driving a long time, it just automatically drops some off and adds some on. Yeah, it's, it's geo... Um, geocaching the information and moving right along with you so that's that's real good now the interesting thing about it we're showing you with the 5100 right now we can go with the 7100 put it in dr mode scan and it'll do the same thing the major difference between the 5100 and the 7100 on the d star is you do not have an internal GPS. So you will need to put a GPS source in the radio. Uh, many people use it at home, so you can, we'll go ahead and we'll stop the scan real quick. Set mode, got to remember which one radio I'm playing with. GPS. Looks like you've had an external GPS attached to it. But we can go here and put it manual. Manual position, touch and hold, edit it. Here again, we'll cheat, we'll say Oxford. 34. Oh, don't need the altitude. I'm 
we'll come out of here. We'll go to DR mode. Right now it's Scottsdale. So with the seven call, it looks like Scottsdale, Arizona. What we'll do is we'll scan. And we have not uploaded. This radio just came out of the box, so we've not downloaded a repeater list into it yet. Okay. So we'll stop the scan. We'll go here, near repeater. So it does have your two repeaters from Memphis in it. So you got GPS lock here, near repeater. We'll go all. Shows you your distance to the repeater. And, oh, here we go. Scan, near repeater, DV or FM. Again, you're scanning both VHF and UHF. That's why scope out of range comes up. We're in fixed mode. We can go to center mode and it will follow the center frequency. So when it's changing bands. We come to the 4100. 4100 is already in that scan mode. Now it is a single band D-Star analog radio. The functionality is very much the same as what you have on the 5100. So we'll go ahead and get out of the scan here and we'll come out of DR mode. Menu, DV memory, repeater list. few of them that I've downloaded. Here's the southeast. Looks a lot like what we saw in the 5100. Just the layout is a little bit condensed. I can edit there again. The repeater type, the name, sub name, which is the state, the call sign, the gateway call sign, since this is a D-Star repeater. If we came up here and selected and went to an FM repeater, FM repeater, then you just see the single call sign. Then what group you want it in, if you want to use it from the, the DR mode from location, frequencies. So it is very much the same as what you got in the 5100. But before I screw anything up, I want to go back to the DV repeater. Then you got your gateway call sign. And we can just come out and abandon the menu setting port, just like what you saw with the 5100. And that's one thing that ICOM's done pretty much across the board with, started with the 31 series, went with the, then the 51 series the 5100, then the 4100, and that was a sequence that it came out in. If you were accustomed to setting up one of those radios, it was the exact same way across the board. And now the latest one being the 705, again, pretty much the same setup. Okay, just like the other radios, you have to be out of DR mode to program the memories. And you've got two different pages. On page two, you've got the DV memory. You can come here. This has got the out of the box frequency list by just like the rest of them. You've got your different settings. You touch and hold it. Then you've got a selection to edit it. Again, your arrangement. For those that need digital voice simplex to set up memory channels for that, you can access that as well. While we're there, can you go back into that? Go yes, show, show them how to program their call sign, because I don't believe Jerrica's put her call sign in there yet. So No, sir, she has not. It's blank. Let's go ahead and add her. Add one. She's Kilo India 5. Oh, hold on. See, we will do K5. No, KI5. She's Kilo India 5. Oh, you're putting my call sign in her radio. Uh-oh. I'm going to 
and get in trouble. <laughs> hey, she didn't put her call sign in, so I have there claimed you go. your radio child unit. So one of the, one of the cool things when you go in here, you can see your call sign fields. So no, there hasn't been a call sign field set up yet. That was not. And everybody likes to put what radio they have in their call sign. So when that goes out, and then we will oh, edit K I five H T A H T A. Come on. So now. Your my call is set in the radio. To set your call sign, you go menu, set my station, and then you program in the call signs. You can do your TX message, which you can put. I put my call my email address, my n9ja at awrl.net, in the transmit message station. You can put the POTA information right there. That's a good idea. So on D-Star, when you transmit on D-Star, whether it's D-Star on HF, VHF, UHF, six meters, it will transmit your POTA designation. Okay, when setting up your DV memories, there's the functionality of doing call sign routing. The call sign routing is your, like who you're going to talk to, not my who's transmitting, but your where the destination station is. So there's nothing in there at this point. We can add one. So you can do So when you make the configuration to do that, we go here to menu, the call sign fields, whatever the repeater one and repeater two, and then here, that would route to me. So if we were, we'll go here to, as an example, we'll go to DR mode and we'll use the repeater as an example, who I'm wanting to talk to. I want to go to your call sign. That would use the Tupelo repeater and would call me. And there's all your call sign fields set up. Sweet. That's cool. So while you've got a 92, you've got to manually program all that stuff in. Where on this, it's makes it a lot easier, a lot easier to... it, it's easier to explain call sign routing as well all right folks and that's a wrap on this session of icom tips and tricks with ray novak thank you all for watching um if you have any questions about any radios or anything drop a comment below and maybe we'll address it in a video in the future y'all take care and we hope to see you on the air seven three